Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cody back with another special edition of TLC Trash Fire. So I decided to do a little series called TLC Trash Fire Time Machine because sometimes you just don't have enough hate to cover the current time period. I have so much hate for past characters of 90 Day Fiance that I'm going to need to build a time machine. And you guys are going to have to take that trip with me. So come on in to my time machine. We are going to go back to, I don't know what year this came out, but feels like it was around the Trump administration. But we are going all the way back to one of my least favorite characters. And that is, can you guess who it is? I'll give you a second to guess. If you guessed Colty, then you are correct. Yes, great job. Make sure to comment below if you got that correct. But um, he's one of my least favorite characters, but I have so many, they're so hard to name. That's why I had to build that time machine. So strap your butts in. We are going back in time. Two, season five of 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. So this is an awesome, awesome series. Had a lot packed with drama. Colty is dating a new girl. And uh, let's just see what Colt had to say about his time with L Larissa. And by the way, I was a Larissa fan. I thought she was a sweetheart, very pretty, very sweet. Just not the brightest bulb to be dating Colt, and hopefully she's doing better. From her IG, at least when I checked a few years ago, she's been doing better. She's been modeling and doing this and that, doing social media influencer stuff. I know that she recently got some plastic surgery, and she looks a lot different. But, um, matter of fact, why don't we look that up while we are on the topic? Larissa 90 day plastic surgery. Let's see. Oh my God, that's not very nice. People has an article called botched plastic surgery procedure. That's not nice. What's she look like now? Oh, I can't, I can't zoom in without logging in. Okay, yeah. She looks good. Oh my goodness, look at these pictures. Very spicy. So anyway, let's get back to the time machine. We're in the middle of time travel right now. So again, we are watching 9 Day Fiance Happily Ever After Season 5, Episode 1. Make sure to comment below where else you want to visit in this 90 day time machine of mine because I'd be happy to go check out some of the most dramatic and crazy stuff from the past. But anyway, as usual, let's just jump right into it. They call me Mr. Vegas. When I, when I say crazy, I'm not, oh my God. It's looking a hot mess. I mean, at least he's working out, but he's, oh God. I think I remember the original season with Larissa. He was really big, and he's still pretty big, but at least he's putting some effort into it. And I'm I'm sorry. I know that there's a lot of people that comment that say, well, actually, um, you got this wrong. And then, okay, yeah, I'm not the 90-day expert. I don't know what he looks like now. What is this beard? What is he doing? you guys see this? Look at that fucking profile pic. He's proud of that. He's like, you know what? I look so good. I'm gonna make that my profile pic. With the chin beard and... This is out of control, Colt. And then he's saying on here, born with a crown. What? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know, guys. He still looks like a fucking chud. So anyway, let's get... He, he barely looks different. But let's say he's dropped about 20, 30 pounds. Yeah. 
I'll give I'll I will happily give that to the man. They call me Mr. Dude, what the fuck is that workout? What was that? That's not he needs a personal trainer. The guy's a software engineer. I don't know if he still is or not, but I, and I'm a software engineer as well. We can afford a, a personal trainer at least every once in a while. Maybe not every day, because personal trainers are fucking expensive. But he definitely needs a personal trainer, at least somebody to guide him initially. And it's obvious that he doesn't take working out very seriously because the guy still pretty much looks like this. And this was what, like four years ago? Hey. Rest in peace, mommy. Rest in peace. Rest in. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Colts, mommy. Hey. Hey, mom. What's going on? Working out. My name is Colt. I'm 34 years old, and I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I have double D. T Bruh. So, give me a call if you want to play with them. With my mother, Debbie. My mother's my best friend, and I love getting oh. to spend time with her each and every day. Looking good. Thank you. For the first time in a long time, I'm focusing on myself, trying to get more oh, healthy. Oh, yeah, the first time. Yeah, because Colt has always been a very selfless individual. He's always put the women in his life and his mother first. Come on, dude. He's always been a selfish jackass. How is he putting himself first at this point? You've always put yourself first, man. And just really rebuild my life after my long and very complicated divorce from Larissa. That you caused, pretty much, because... You refuse to get a place without your insane mother, which caused a gigantic rift in your relationship. And then you got her arrested like three times because you're a little bitch baby that called the cops when she got angry. Those are heavy. I bet I couldn't even lift one. All right, heavy, heavy that. So I tried to lift it? <laughs> I could do that. See, you could do it. She's so nasty. I, I didn't like her because she was always, like, basically whenever Larissa and Colt would get in a fight, she would always just dogpile on top of Larissa. And she would always back Colt up no matter how wrong Colt was or whether Colt was gaslighting Larissa. I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not a fan. Colt is, didn't, didn't fall far from the tree. And we can see why Colt acts the way he does. Help you. They're both selfish. <laughs> Three years ago, I met Larissa online. At the time, she was living in... Oh my goodness. Whoa. Why did... I just don't understand. Why did she get with him? You know, he's one of these really nasty dudes that just... He's, he has so much ego that he'll approach just any woman and then sometimes he'll just get lucky the one out of the you know just it, it, it's it, it basically comes down to chance after a while he's like approaches different women you know people like larissa who are like extremely attractive and a lot of them will turn him down but he has he's so driven by ego that eventually he'll find one that will say yeah sure why not one that like has not very good self-esteem or maybe there's an ulterior motive such as Larissa really wanted to come to the United States and pursue modeling and all that stuff. So in Brazil, she was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Yeah. And the most beautiful woman that you've ever been with and will ever be with. Girl, when I first met Larissa, it was kind of an awkward experience. Her English wasn't very good, and I didn't speak any Portuguese. But after a while, we started to really hit it off. And after having spent She's five so days with Larissa in person, I decided to bring her over to the United States on a K-1 fiancé visa. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you look great. 90 days is not enough time to get to know someone, but I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. So I officially proposed with a ring. You know, I got your present. It's true. I don't know. I remember when they were dating, it was incredibly awkward, too. You can just see her. She's like, no, please, God. If you might want it, but... <laughs> they drop it? Want to get married? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. 
I love you too. But four days before the wedding, things took a turn for the worse. Aww.